Well, this is the perfect way to define the left's response to the attempted assassination. Hey, um, Trump got shot at. Got shot at? Trump got shot at. So, like, did he? Oh, yeah, he lived. Huh. Yeah, and what's worse is he looked really cool when it happened. What do you mean he looked cool when it happened? He unfortunately looked very cool when it happened. How do you look cool getting shot at? Well, like, what did he do? Pop right back up with blood streaming down his face, pumping a fist in the air, shouting USA, USA, USA until a crowd of thousands joined in? That's exactly what he did. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. I know. Crap. We're gonna lose the election, huh? Big time. You bet it is pretty cool because this was the moment Donald Trump knew he'd won the election with that warrior-like strength image, blood on his cheek as he survived an assassination attempt. This is the campaign's turning point, summed up in a matter of minutes. MAGA means make America great again, Joe. Listen to that crowd roar. Let's bring in host of Primetime with Alex Stein. Alex, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Look, nobody can underestimate the power of what Trump did after he was shot. What did it say to his haters and to those on the left? Well, it said a lot. It said that he was like Neo from The Matrix who's dodging those bullets. I mean, I know they got his ear, but one centimetre away, it would have literally the shooter would have literally started a civil war. But let's just be real. Donald Trump is anointed by God. Whether you believe in God or not, he had a divine intervention that saved his life. And you can call me crazy, but I think that's the only thing that truly saved Donald Trump. And now he's going to have more support than he's ever had. So this assassination attempt is going to backfire and, and end up being the best thing for Donald Trump. Absolutely. And we'll get to some of the polling shortly. But look, I want to talk about the fumbling diversity picks in the US Secret Service as the agency uh, rushed to get Donald Trump away from the chaos. Have a look at the women who comprise his security detail. Now, one female agent was heard frantically shouting, what are we doing? Where are we going? After the shots rang out. And what on earth is happening here? Her one job was to jump in front and take a bullet for Trump, but instead she cowered behind him. Alex, what is going on with these Secret Service agents? Well, it's the same thing that's happening to these airlines where they're going to hire a person based on their skin colour and not their, you know, merit. And that's what's really the problem is you saw one of those female Secret Service agents trying to carry Donald Trump. Yeah, right. You're not going to carry a man that's 245 pounds. So it's really sad that the Secret Service let this happen. There were snipers on the roof that supposedly saw the shooter because there's only one other roof in that area of Bethel, Pennsylvania. And they didn't take him out. They let him shoot at Donald Trump. So whether you want to say that this was just, uh, you know, insubordination or this is just, you know, uh, them messing up, I think it's much more sinister. I think that these people that are protecting Donald Trump don't have his best interest. And I think it's very obvious by letting him even get shot. When they have drone surveillance, they have all kinds of measurements that they take in order to keep the area and per perimeter safe. And they didn't take any of those into account when it came to this speech for whatever reason. Oh, I mean, the failure is just absolutely appalling. It's it's catastrophic, to be honest. And look, Alex, this video might explain it because a video has surfaced showing the agency's boss, Kimberly Cheetle, boasting about a desire to increase diversity. To expand hiring, they're aiming to have 30% women recruits by 2030 and even allowed YouTube influencer Michelle Carey to train with agents. But I'm very conscious uh, as, uh, as I sit in this chair now, of making sure that we need to 
uh, attract diverse candidates. Alex, this is extraordinary. Picking recruits based on diversity, not the best recruits. Is that really appropriate? Well, obviously not. But if you look at the admiral of our Navy and of our armed forces, are all transgender people. So they don't care about putting the best person and putting their best foot forward. They care about being progressive and being a social justice warrior and checking off a box on a list. So that's where America's at. And I just want to thank Sky News for actually being honest when they covered this whole entire issue because CNN said that he just fell down. Other outlets said they just heard loud noises. So thank the Lord for the people in Australia and across the world that actually want to have some sort of transparency when it comes to an assassination of an ex-president. Yeah, he fell down. Uh, it was just an interruption. There were loud noises. <laughs> you know, the list goes on. It's ridiculous. I just want to show you this video, Alex, by contrast. Have a look at how the Secret Service reacted when Ronald Reagan was shot. As you can see, it was quick thinking, protecting their president. What has gone wrong in the agency since then? Well, you said it already. When they smothered Trump, they said, what do we do? So they didn't even know the protocol for trying to save the president. And then, like you showed the clip of the women, they were more worried and concerned about their sunglasses than they were about trying to stop a terroristic threat. So that's where we're at here in America. You know, I say it all the time. We're living in the upside down world. So Donald Trump needs men I, I listen if women want to be in law enforcement there's there's places for women to be in law enforcement but protecting the president against a terroristic threat i think you need to leave that to the men and then don't call me a misogynist for that i just think that that is the safest and most prudent thing to do